And finally, scientists have uncovered a mysterious cave on the moon that could potentially revolutionize human lunar exploration. It could become the prime location to build a future lunar base. The cave is near the area where half a century ago Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed. Experts feel the cave could harbor frozen water, which is critical, a critical resource for drinking, rocket fuel, and much more. Our final report explores this major lunar find. Human beings have always been attracted by the cosmos, with scientists always on the quest to uncover new frontiers for humanity's benefit. And the latest lunar revelation might just revolutionize how humans touch down on the moon. A team of Italian scientists have unearthed or rather unmooned a cave on the lunar surface. They reported that there is evidence of a sizable cave on the moon. It is a mere stone's throw away from where Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin made history 55 years ago. The team believes that this isn't an isolated find. They suspect that there are hundreds more. It is nestled in the Sea of Tranquility, which is over 400 kilometers from the Apollo 11 landing site. The cave was exposed by the collapse of a lava tube. The discovery could turn into a prime candidate for future lunar bases. The majority of these pits appear to be like dots on the moon's ancient lava plains, and some could even be near the South Pole, the targeted site for NASA's upcoming astronaut landings. Scientists feel that the permanent shadowed craters in the region could harbor frozen water, a critical resource for drinking and rocket fuel. Oh, I got that wrong, didn't I? I but that's that not it. The caves also offer a natural protection, working as a barrier against cosmic rays, solar radiation and micrometeorite impacts. So it would eliminate the need for building a habitat from scratch. But the cave walls will have to be reinforced to prevent collapse. These untouched rocks and materials inside the cave could unlock secrets of the moon's volcanic past and offer insights into its evolution. Lunar orbiters spotted these pits a decade ago, and some of them have been dubbed as skylights, as they lead to expansive lava tube. It is like nature's ready-made bunkers with stable temperatures and natural shielding. Space agencies are now gearing up for human moon landings by figuring out how to assess and reinforce these underground structures. They want to do everything possible, monitoring systems for seismic activities, designate safe zones in case of cave-ins, and all the infrastructure needed to make these moon caves habitable. But they still have a lot to learn about what lies beneath these pit entrances. It also comes with a few logistical hurdles. Astronauts will have to descend a daunting 125 meters. They will have to navigate a rim of loose debris that can trigger avalanches with every step. So it will require a substantial infrastructure. As the world prepares for humanity's next giant leap, it seems the future of mankind on the moon might actually be beneath its surface. So let's take it one cave at a time. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We're counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished. Climate change is on our doorstep. It's time for a revolution to take root. And it starts 
with 1.4 billion Indians. It starts with one tree. One tree for humanity. One tree for Mother Earth. One tree for our future. Project One Tree, a News 18 Network initiative.